Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where I show you everything and anything life sailing. My name is Teddy, and with the Mountain of Eternal Winter released, it's time we dive into the new cooking recipes and how they're made. This is not going to be the best way or how to make the most money with these recipes. I could do that later when I've made more of them, but for now, let's get into the cooking recipes for the new Mountain of Eternal Winter. The Mountain of Eternal Winter region is small like Odalita and Dragon, but comes with a good amount of dishes to cook up. Most of these recipes are learned early on by accepting the quest chain. Highland Common Ingredients from Bayon here in Camp Balix. Starting with the Centron Tea, this acts much like a star anise tea and purified water in the desert. This heals the new frostbite debuff now obtained in the Eternal Winter Mountain. To make the new Citron Tea, it requires one citron and a distilled water or purified water using simple cooking. Before starting any of the other dishes, citron vinegar has to be made for a base ingredient. This requires two citron, one sugar, one leavening agent, and one mineral water. Pickled citron onion gives plus 10% breathing experience gain for 60 minutes. This requires two onion, two citron vinegar, three leavening agent, three sugar, and one mineral water. Citron Cider adds movement speed plus 1 for 60 seconds, making this requires 5 citron, 3 essence of liquor, 1 sugar, and 1 leavening agent. So, another citron dish. Citron juice adds plus 1 fishing for 60 minutes, making this requires 5 citron, 3 sugar, 5 mineral water, and 1 cooking honey. Oh. Why so much citron? Citron candy increases fishing experience gain plus 8% for 60 minutes. This can be made with 1 citron, 1 cooking honey, and 5 sugar. Single brewed mesoma tea acts like a base for the new well brewed mesoma tea, which prevents frostbite from occurring for 10 minutes. To make this, this requires 5 mesoma and 1 mineral water. I swear I'm saying this wrong. Making the twice brewed mesoma tea requires one single brew mesoma tea and one mineral water. And finally, the well brewed mesoma tea needs the twice brewed mesoma tea and one mineral water. The mesoma chicken soup adds strength experience plus 10%, plus 2 movement speed, and plus 100 endurance for 90 minutes. This needs 3 mesoma, 1 bird meat, 1 garlic, 1 date palm, and 2 mineral water. Mesomer rice wine increases max weight plus 80 pounds. This can be made by using 2 mesomers, 3 leavening agents, 3 mineral water, and 5 grain. Chanterelle Mushroom Stew. This gives plus 80 endurance for 60 minutes. To make this, this requires 3 chanterelle mushrooms, 1 hot pepper, 1 red sauce, and 2 mineral water. The chanterelle mushroom risotto, however, gives processing experience plus 8% for 90 minutes. Making this dish requires 2 chanterelle, 5 grain, 1 white sauce, 1 butter, and finally 1 olive oil. The chanterelle mushroom porridge is another mushroom dish, but this increases knowledge acquisition chance plus 5%, making the porridge needs 2 chanterelle, 5 grain again, 1 onion, 2 salt, and 3 mineral water. Stir fried chanterelle and meat dish adds 8% processing success rate this time. This requires 3 chanterelle, 5 meat, 2 base sauce, 2 pepper, and 3 salt. And the last dish using chanterelle. The chanterelle mushroom potato stew adds max HP plus 100 for 60 minutes. To cook this dish, you'll need 2 chanterelle, 5 grain, 1 onion, 2 paprika, and 5 mineral water. Fruit Sherbet, a nice ice cream dessert. This adds high knowledge gain acquisition plus 2% for 90 minutes, making this requires 1 clear ice, 2 fruit, and 3 sugar. 
The Elton Sandwich reduces the automatic fishing time by 7% for 90 minutes. This can be cooked using, what a shocker, two more citron, two soft bread or egg, and five paprika. Any vegetable would do, I just prefer paprika. Finally, with all those dishes, let's get into the meals and how to make them. Starting with the Ailton meal, this adds processing gain plus 10%, processing success rate plus 10%, and max weight plus 100 pounds for 90 minutes. These are made by combining one chanterelle risotto, one chanterelle and potato stew, one stir fried chanterelle and meat, and lastly, two fruit sherbet. Combining three of these with the oak pill of Time and Tides makes the marvelous version which adds processing success rate plus 25%, processing success rate plus 15%, and max weight plus 300 pounds for 600 minutes. The special Elton specialty meal may have the same name as the Elton meal, but this is far different. This increases breath experience gain plus 10%, plus 2 movement speed, and plus 100 max stamina. Making these requires 2 citron ciders, 2 chanterelle porridges, 1 pickled citron and onions, and 1 chanterelle stew. Following the same trend with the new dishes, there is a marvelous version that increases the breath experience gain plus 20%, movement speed plus 3, and plus 200 stamina for 600 minutes. And finally, the Balix lunchbox. This is the fishing meal equivalent of the Elton meal. The lunchbox increases fishing experience plus 10%, automatic fishing rejection by 7%, and plus 2 fishing for 90 minutes. To make these, combine 2 2 Elton sandwiches, 2 citron juice, and 2 citron candy. The Marvelous Balix Lunchbox adds fishing experience plus 25%, automatic fishing time reduction by 10%, and plus 3 fishing for 60 minutes. You're probably curious on how to get the ingredients, so let's get into that. With the new dishes comes new ingredients that are needed to cook them. These are citron, mesema, and chanterelle. Not to mention the Ockpill of Time and Tides. Getting these can be easy or can be annoying, so let's check out where to get them, shall we? Chanterelle mushrooms can be gathered from windmill perch here or sending workers to Pilgrim's End. Mesema mushrooms are found around Windmill Perch too, or workers can be sent to Pilgrim's End also. Citron can be gathered from Maslan's Eula's Citron Orchard here, and workers can be sent to the node. Obtaining translucent ice, this can be done by exchanging 5 translucent ice shards to Orno in Elton over here, or by sending a worker to the Mountain of Eternal Winter node. For those who don't have the contribution points to send workers, completing the daily Convish's Day here in Ailton, this rewards 3 translucent ice. Finally, to get the elk pills of time and tides, exchanging 25 oxider crystals to Tobadai here in Ailton, oxider crystals are obtained by completing dailies around the region. Lastly, for those who have the AP and the DP to do the new grind zones, Time of Tides has a chance to drop from Shuriken Iron Mine and the Mountain of Eternal Winter. These are all the new recipes added with the Eternal Mountain and with plenty of daily quests for ingredients and the dishes, it's easier to get into cooking and making money. Once I play more of the region and life skill around here, I will start to make more guides and show ways to make silver out here in the Mountain of Eternal Winter but while you wait, how about you click on this playlist here to learn how to make silver and I will see you guys in another Black Desert Online video.